Okay, welcome back to the video. Let me unpause the simulation. In the last video, we brought the XR5 from uh, the point where it was really close to the periapsis of Saturn, and we brought it all the way over to Titan. <clears throat> and we did manage to establish an orbit around Titan, but the way in which I went about doing that was really ugly. I, I mean, if you saw the video, it was it was not pretty. Having said that, we're here, so let's make the best of it. I'm going to bring up Base Sync MFD, and I'm going to target, uh, I think it's called Titan Base. Yeah. And according to Base Sync, we're off by 700 kilometers. So let's see what map MFD has to say. Okay, let's. Uh, and it looks like it, we would orbit a ton of times and not really improve that too much because we're, I guess because we're mostly equatorial. So it looks to me like every time we go around, we're just going to keep coming back around and missing and missing Titan. Uh, it's I guess maybe if the if the moon rotates it might eventually move to the point relative to our orbit where we would pass over it but it from the looks here that would take a really long time so I'm going to see about doing a, a bit of a plane change burn here at the next node in order to line up with the base a little bit better and hopefully we got enough fuel to pull this all off we're getting quite low but uh, I think we might be able to do it. Let me see if there's anything I'm missing here. We gotta go a thousand seconds. Let's uh, want that on direct. No, it's that's why I wanted to switch to direct. So in 235 seconds, we're gonna be doing 23 meters per second worth of delta v. That's a very small number. And that's going to be minus. So let's get into that position now. And we'll warp time ahead until we're at about half that number. So 12 seconds. When TN says about 12 seconds. Okay. Oops. Wrong button. So about 20 seconds away. Okay. Burning in two, one. We're burning. We're going to bring that distance down to basically zero. And again, when we hit the atmosphere, the distance off base will change, but I don't know which way it's going to change or by how much. So I'm just going to bring the distance down to zero. And we'll go with that. Alright, let's go prograde. Okay, well, our orbital speed is about the same as it would be if we were around the moon. So if we wanted to use the full power of the main engines, we would only need about 75 kilometers to eliminate this much velocity. I just know that because I've done this on the moon so many times. But we have a really nice thick atmosphere to use, so let's just use the atmosphere. And when I say thick, I mean thick. This atmosphere around Titan is like a bowl of pudding. So I'm just trying to think about when I should set up uh, some kind of deorbit burn. I definitely don't want to do it halfway around. That would be pretty ridiculous, I think. Let's use a uh, arrow break to try to set this up. Hmm. 
apparently Arrowbreak has some kind of map for Titan. Cool. Except it makes it hard to see. Okay, so we're 4,300 kilometers away from the base, and that number's going up. So it means we're still going around. We haven't reached the halfway point. When this number starts counting backwards, that means we're halfway around and we're getting closer to the base. While we're waiting on that, let's bring up uh, orbit or object info here and get the information for Titan base. And what is it with these people not putting beacons on their base? Since we don't have a beacon, all we can do is put in one of the landing pads. And we'll go with uh, just number one. This will help us land, but it won't do us any good in actually uh, won't do us any good until we're basically on top of the base, but it will definitely help me land. Alright, let's warp time ahead. Okay, looks like right about here is going to be the halfway point. Morning. Oh. Forgot to reopen the radiator. AP offline. System reset. Okay, now what I was saying is about here is halfway around, so now we're getting closer. I'm going to get really close. Okay, we're only 500, uh, 540 kilometers away. Let's go retrograde. See just how much fuel it would use to do that big of a burn. Okay, so after the burn's complete, the vessel will weigh this much, the empty vessel would weigh that much. So we've got enough to do that burn if we wanted to do it, if we wanted to burn all the way. <clears throat> basically if we wanted to stop ourselves but and that's tempting to do that because the atmosphere of Titan again I hate to sound like a broken record but it's so thick that I'm not too worried about the vertical speed I don't think I'll have to use a ton of hover so to, to expedite things I think I'm going to go ahead and wait till my distance to the base is all the way down to uh, 75 kilometers and then I'll engage the main engines and brake. Let's do it that way. Let's let's try to take the expeditious route. So I'm watching the distance here. Okay, we're getting pretty close. Back to real time and we're doing this at 75 kilometers. We're at 80, 79, 78, 77, 76, and burning. And we're going to bring our orbital speed basically to zero.
distance from the base is 30, 35 kilometers. <clears throat> Distance from the base is 25 kilometers. Distance from the base is Main fuel system. 15 kilometers. Hopefully I didn't misjudge the fuel. I don't think it matters at this point, we can land. Okay, we are at 361 kilometers, and we are falling into Titan. We're falling down toward Titan. We're 10 kilometers away from the base. Which basically means it's below me somewhere. Translation. Turn this off for a moment. Let's rotate so that we're facing the base. Should be this direction. Translation. Okay, and then we're just going to free fall through this thick bowl of soup that is Titan. And our vertical, our horizontal speed is, uh, that's basically nothing. It's 128 kilometers and it's actually backwards. Let's, let's work on that a little bit. Information. APU running. Turn off the turn off the APU. Let's just warp time ahead because it's going to take a while to descend down that many kilometers. Because the pull of the moon isn't very much and the atmosphere is so thick, it's going to keep, it's just going to make for a slow ride down. Rotation. I'm going to go in to go ahead and engage just to keep myself level. Of gravity shift online. Whatever vertical speed I do have is basically pancaking this part of the vessel 
so this part of the vessel can sustain you know two or three thousand meters per second uh, probably more than that actually more like probably five thousand meters a second so there's no way I'm gonna burn up And I'm, now I'm slowing down, so... Alright, where's the base at? It's only 10 kilometers away, so it has to be essentially right below me. Actually, I think that's it right there. bring up this now when I get a little closer it'll show me uh, you know relative worth relative information to the base the only temperature concern that I would have here would be for my radiator which is still extended but I don't think it's gonna be a problem well I'm certain it's not because we're slowing down Warp time ahead, get closer. Information APU fuel 70%. You can see just how slow we're getting. As we're descending into this haze, there's the base. I wish all these seams weren't there. It's kind of unsightly. Look at this moon though, I mean it's amazing. It's so thick, it's just unbelievable. I don't think it's quite as thick as Venus, but it's a close contender. I mean just consider this, we are at 60 kilometers, we're in free fall and we're slowing down. That just to give you an idea how thick this place is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bump a little bit of main engine though and start pushing myself forward. There we go. Translation, rotation. Also, what I can probably do at this point is uh, pitch down a little bit and start steering through the atmosphere, you know, this way. Maybe doing some S turns or something to get closer to the base. And just pitch down so I can fall faster. Now I'm actually starting to speed up a little bit. <laughs> the universe is an amazing place. Having a moon like our own moon and then Titan like this, 53 kilometers and it's like a swimming pool up here. I'll pitch down some more. Basically standing the vessel on its nose. Try to get that velocity vector right on the base. I 
I have landed on Titan one other time, but I didn't do it by actually coming out to Titan, getting into orbit, and landing. I actually started on uh, the landing pad at Titan. Actually, it was when I downloaded the space. I wanted to see what it looked like, and I took off from the base, got up a little ways, 20 kilometers, maybe if maybe not even that much, and then got to a point where I could land again, and I was just blown away the first time I did that at just how incredibly slow and sluggish everything was. I mean, it feels like you're swimming through molasses on this on this moon. I mean, we're, we're on the nose. We're at 44 uh, kilometers. And we have the vessel like that, so it has the least amount of surface area touching the atmosphere, and we're still slowing down. I mean, consider we're, you know, that's what we're doing. The only part of the vessel that's touching the atmosphere is this, you know, really thin profile, and we're still slowing down. <coughs> Maybe you don't find that as fascinating as I do, but I can go ahead and warp time ahead here a bit. Actually, a little concerned about running out of RCS. Uh, let me disengage. And actually, yeah. Surface controls, why not? Warping time ahead, trying to get the distance lower. See our MFD came online there. This is 10x, by the way. Information: APU fuel 60%. Probably somehow do a runway landing, but I'm not sure if that would be better or worse. So I'm just trying to keep that velocity vector near the base. Five thousand. We're actually speeding up a little bit now. 
Go ahead and put the landing gear down now. Gear down and lock. Four thousand. Three thousand. I'm trying to get down, it's a slow process. Two thousand. So here in a moment, I'm going to go level with the horizon. You are cleared to land. Why in the world did it go in that direction? <clears throat> Oh my gosh, my bank's upside down. Oh, that's so irritating. Rotation. Hover doors are closed. Two hundred. Translation. Rotation. Okay, that was almost a catastrophe. So now I'm rotating around so I can face the landing pad. RCS fuel low. System reset. Uh, this is going to be calling, cutting it really close. Translation. shot the landing pad. Definitely don't have fuel to be missing stuff. Information. APU fuel 50%. Rotation. Translation. Rotation. Translation. 
translation. Warning, RCS fuel depleted. Alright, let's uh... landing. Sorry guys. Four, three. Stopping in. Two. One. Wheels down. Wheel stop. Well, that was retarded. That was just an unfortunate um, turn of events there in just the last couple of seconds. We'll consider that a crash, obviously. If it hadn't been for the case that my bank was upside down, I'm, I feel much more confident that I would have made it over to the landing pad. And with just a tad bit more fuel, I mean just the smallest amount of more fuel, I still would have been able to fix that last situation there. Oh well, uh, we're gonna, I think I'm gonna call this the end of the video. I don't think I'm gonna try this again. Maybe I will if I get bored, but I uh, will consider this the end of the series most likely. So that is the XR5 from Mars to Phobos to refuel, out to Saturn, and finally over to Titan. So in this learn with me, what I what I learned and what I took away from this experience that I applied to the next video that I've actually already finished recording is when you get out to the large gas giants it seems to be better if you uh, get into a high orbit and complete the orbit before you try to rendezvous with the moon like in this case I tried to rendezvous with Titan but the way I did it in this case was I slung in really tight in well not really tight but fairly close to Saturn and then I rendezvoused with Titan on the other side. Now here's the thing, that would actually not be the worst thing in the world if you did the sling where you came out past the orbit of Titan and then met up with Titan on the other side. That would be okay. But coming in close to Saturn and then going back out doesn't make any sense. It's a bad maneuver because you're gaining so much velocity in doing that that by the time you get out to the moon, uh, to Titan in this case, you have to do a lot of braking and that uses a lot of fuel. So in the next video what I do when I get to Jupiter is I first establish an orbit around Jupiter really high up above the orbit of Europa and then I rendezvous with Europa by bringing that orbit down. That is a much cleaner way to do it. This way is still okay in my opinion if you do what I said which is you know planning the sling to where you're out above the orbit of Titan. So hopefully you understand what I'm saying there. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Uh, any last comments or thoughts? I can't really think of anything. Um, I, like I said, I may give this one more shot. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. I really don't like ending a video with a landing that was like this one. If I had at least landed over here, I'd be okay with that. But landing on top of the building, I mean, come on, that's just a crash. So, if you like the video, leave a comment down below. If any questions, comments, anything like that, comment down below and I'll reply to it. And I will see you in the next video.